Today is three months to the day I've taken since I took ownership of this club. And uh, so far I've enjoyed every minute bar one. There are often dark days and last Monday was a dark day for me. I'm not going to go into too much detail of it, but I found the decision we had to make last Monday a rather difficult one. A week on, and they say a week is a long time in business and politics, I'm in a position where I'm in to, able to make an absolutely brilliant announcement um, in the appointment of James, who, as you will all know, is a Bradford through and through. If you cut him in half, he's definitely red, amber and black. And uh, it's the second time that he has left Headingley and headed over to our shores. The last time he headed this way, he went on a run of unparalleled success. And I'm definitely looking forward to him achieving the same in his new role here as he achieved as a player. We had a myriad of people applying for the job, either directly or indirectly, um, through third parties. And we analysed the ones that were on the table um, and we invited a number of them in for first meetings, second meetings and the third and final meetings yesterday where the, where the shortlist was. We had a board meeting yesterday, they were invited in, interviewed by the whole board um, and after that we made a de the decision actually became very easy. So what set James Lowe's apart from the others? Um, it just, for me, just brings a different dynamic. Um, that's not to take anything away from all the other applicants. And, I, and as I said earlier, I want to thank them for, for, for the fact that they applied for the job. You know, the, the, there are many people out there that would think this would be a poison chalice. You know, it's a club that's uh, in a state of, has been in a state of decline. I've, I've tried to bring stability to it, but nevertheless, we are second bottom. We are, in, in reality, 10 points adrift of the teams directly above us. And therefore, anyone looking at it, the first thing, thing going through their mind has got to be, do I want to take up a position in a club that in all likely is probably going to be in the championship next year? Um, which brings with itself different dynamics. And, and some of them may have made a decision not to apply because of the fact they don't want to drop down a league. Um, James just brings a steely attitude with him. He, he, he's, you know, his reputation as a player is, is, is unsurpassable. Um, he was a success, he was a winner, um, he's continued in that ethos and that steely mind through, through his various coaching jobs and I just think that it's a great fit. It's a special club to me, you know, I played here and uh, had some good memories here, so um, I, I can't see either way, uh, James, uh, but uh, this, job, this job became available and I went for it. Is there anything you can bring from the Carnegie? To, to the Bulls now, do you think? We start pushing in the scrums. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I, I don't know how to push in the scrums, so I can't, I can't bring that. I might bring a couple of lads in there to do a bit of pushing. Um, the games are, are, are so different, you know. The, 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 the guys' attitude last year was fantastic, and I'll take that with me anywhere I go. Um, you know, their willingness to try things. Um, they'll question things, but their willingness to try it, and if it didn't work, they didn't work. I don't think that's massive in the game, you know, in an irrelevant accord. And, um, yeah, like I say, it's quite, you know, the, the, the similar parts of the game are the post, the ball, and the field, and that's it, really, you know. And, uh, you know, you working in that game last year, you really appreciate what that game's about. You know, the set piece, the scrummaging, the, you know, the rucking, the mauling. Um, you know, it's a tough game, it's a really tough sport played by good people and uh, yeah, the attitude of the boys is, is something I'll take with me wherever. He's Bradford through and through and um, he, uh, something he made me laugh in his, in his interview when he mentioned that when Leeds let him go as a, as a player and he came here, he was determined um, above all else to, to make them regret that decision. Now, his departure from there this time round is different. I mean, they, they've, they were really, really good in, in, and, and professional in the way that they've uh, allowed him to talk to us. And I'm very grateful for them doing that. They could have said no. Um, and when we, when we um, made the decision that he was the man we wanted, before we even finalised the deal with him, we went and spoke to Leeds and asked them if it's all right to, you know, to press forward and would they release him? And they said yes. And again, I want to thank them from that. And, um, you know, he's coming home, isn't he? And, and if he can bring the success as a coach to the club that he brought as a player, well, then there's only going to be good times ahead, isn't there? 
And your opening game against Warrington as well, as, as fate would have it. It's not a bad opener for you, is it? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, go back there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I always look forward to going back to yeah. Warrington. It's a good club with some good people on and off the field. Uh, playing well, playing with a lot of confidence, top of the league, completely opposite to what you know where we're at at the moment. But um, you know we'll go and challenge them. I think, you know I hope we do anyway. I hope we go and challenge them. And uh, as long as we show this, these fans out out here that uh, the guys are, are having a go, then they'll back us to the hilt. Do you think there's anything still left in the balls for this season? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Uh, you know, I'm not not writing this season off at all. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. Um, so, uh, like I said, we're just we, we're just going to have to have a go, a good go. Uh, you, you're heavily relying on teams above you, you know, to lose every game, which is you know that's not going to happen. And we have to be realistic at, at where we're at, um, and, and put a couple of plans in place, and, and, and we'll do that over the next uh, couple of weeks, really.